brand new video and in today's video i will be making a toggle and showing you guys how to do it and how it works basically so if you want to see that then yeah just follow along and if you like it drop a like and please subscribe maybe drop a comment because it helps helps me with the youtube algorithm which helps me grow and yeah so let's just jump straight into it So I'm just going to make the UI real quick, it will probably be sped up, but yeah, let me just make a quick UI. Okay, so that looks like it's good enough, I guess. You could change this up, you could use a text instead of a slider, which looks like this. I just have a circle, a, oh well, it's in oval, it's just the screen stuff. Then I have a button, which is as big as the circle, just using 1-1, one, one. so this button resizes with the circle. And... I have a set index with as 2, so it's over the circle. Then I have a circle which is set index 1 under the button. And then I just have some position and it's 2, no, 4 pixels, 4 pixels uh, smaller than this. Then the height and then it's 2 pixels there and then 2. Yeah, you guys probably get the gist of it if you guys know how to make UIs. But yeah, let's just get right into the scripting. So this would probably be your like function, add, toggle, whatever you have in your your library or whatever you're going to use it for. But I'm just going to do it without functions and shit like that. So I'm just going to make a local toggle equals true because it's currently on. You can see that it's on. And uh, need to do script dot no uh, script dot parent dot main dot toggle dot button dot mouse button one click connect function so this just gets executed every time we click the button okay there and we want to check if it's already toggled so if toggled equals equals true don't have to put it here but i have it for just I guess educational purposes I don't know it's easier to read if you're not really that good at scripting so if the if the toggle is already toggled if the toggle isn't already toggled you want to probably have a debounce like a local debounce equals false so this is just going to make sure so you can't spam this and then break it. So you want to put if the bounce is false then then just highlight that and then and there. Um make sure you can't spam it. So we're going to have like a debounce equals true wait 0.25 debounce equals false toggled equals true no false yeah that's basically it for right now um turns on the cooldown wait 0.25 seconds removes the cooldown slash allows clicking to not be toggled 
let's just add a tween in here because right now it wouldn't really do anything get service tween service create uh, game dot no uh, script dot parent dot main dot toggle dot circle um come on let's do tween info to be like 0 0.25 seconds oh shit um then in here we have to change the just position i would say yeah position equals Udin 2new if i'm not wrong it should be like that then we have to play it uh, let's also change the color of the background uh, background color free let's make it like color free dot from rgb like two foot like a nice no shit like 200 200 200 like that maybe so now we could probably turn it off but we can't turn it on again oh shit uh, let's see oh yeah sorry it's an rounded image so i have to use image color instead of background color like that but now we just have to copy it over here and change it a bit oh yeah i can just add comments for this changes the position of the circle changes the color of the background just add this right oh shit let's just add that right there have to change a bit we have to change this to true instead of false uh, change it not to be toggled then let's yeah it's minus 22 like that if I'm not wrong no it's minus 20 sorry and let's check the color that we are going to be using there that's basically it Oh no, that looks too bright. It's the wrong color, I think. Okay, so if you're just going to make this for a game, you could just do like print off, whatever. Whatever you want to do when it's off and on. No, off right here and on right here. So the next steps are just going to be for if you're making a UI library for example so do not do this if you're like going to make it for a game as I said you can just click off the video leave a like I guess if you like the video so yeah let's just say you have your function for your UI library you have like the name maybe you have a callback and yeah I'm just going to make a uh, function callback state print state this will i'm just going to use this for my callback but you would obviously have like function create toggle uh, name comma callback and then all of this code then you would do create toggle yes like that but this is basically just the same thing is that yeah it should actually not be any different so you would want to p call uh, no callback and then toggle then add that to here too and it will now print the well execute the callback which is to print value let me see output right there false it's off and if you see we can't spam it it won't break true false yeah that's basically how it works I guess that would be everything for me, so if you liked the video then please leave a like, probably subscribe if you want to see more videos like these, and comment if you want to help me grow my channel. But yeah, all the code and this entire game should be in the description, so, but yeah, bye guys.